All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be a quick little unboxing of the Team Tekken RS Pro Censored Speed Control. Uh, this is their top end of the Pro Race 10th scale ESCs. Uh, this thing is very uh, capable of uh, controlling brushless censored motors all the way down to a 2.5 turn and it is definitely programmable by either the buttons on the bottom of the ESC or with the alternative hot wire interface so you can program it on your laptop or PC. Uh, this ESC is quite expensive. It's actually more than an 8 scale RX-8 ESC. This thing goes out for right under $200 uh, most places, even upwards to $220. Uh, for some of the retail places so um, definitely shop around for this thing uh, there is a new model that is rumored to come out it is the gen 2 version uh, but it's not coming out for quite some time and i don't have time to wait right now i have a a 10 scale four wheel drive buggy that this thing is intended for and i'm going to be running one of the 7.5 turn gen 2 motors from team tekin as well so Here's a look at that box as well. Anyways, uh, this ESC is uh, very nice. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and let's see what you get inside. I think this is about my fourth or fifth Tekken ESC unboxing, so please bear with me as I go through uh, some of the normal uh, stuff on it. So uh, the, the badging right here, RS, does not say anything about RS Pro. Um, does have the hot wire interface logo right there. This is a censored ESC, so it does require a censored wire to have that censored feature. It can run sensorless, brushless, or brushed motors, so definitely um, a plus there. It can pretty much run any 10 scale motor out there. Um, there's a look at the ESC, it is about the size of a quarter as far as the front size of it. Um, the overall height of it is right over a half inch. So very, very small footprint. Um, the difference between the RS and the RS Pro is basically what it is capable of running. RS is gonna be capable of running all the way down to a 7.5 turn motor, um, but it is more intended for two wheel drive vehicles only. I'm going to be running it in a four-wheel drive, so it just needs a little bit more power uh, to be able to um, run that four-wheel drive buggy. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let's see what you get inside the box, and we'll go from there. Just notice on the top here, it has the um, two different model numbers. TT1153 is the RS Pro, and then 152 is the RS. has all the features and benefits on the back right here programmability, what it, what it can actually program, and I'll show you guys that really quick. If I can have some cooperation here. Looks like drag brake, brake strength, current limit, neutral width, throttle profiles, brushless modes, brushed modes, voltage cutoffs, and adjustable timing. So um, one thing that I always do is I always go look at um, other people that have setup sheets online, either at teamteakin.com or if you follow some of your local racers or even some of the pro racers, you can get some of their setups as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we get inside. So typical for Tekken, they have this kind of plasticky case right there. And, you know, for a, a $200 plus ESC, you would think it would come in a little bit nicer. But as always, they have this goop that they stick the ESC to, so we're going to bypass that right now and see what's underneath the case. So it looks like all in all you get about 10 inches of wire, um, one black, one red, one white. So hopefully that'll be enough for your application. And it looks to be 12 gauge wire, yep, 12 AWG. So. I actually prefer the Novak wire. It just seems to have a little less memory to the uh, wire and just a little bit easier to solder up. So 
just a look at that really quick while, while I got you guys here. This is the Novak wire and just has a good feel to it. It's all silicone and it, it just, it for me, it, it, it solders up better and it, and it keeps its um, uh, looseness once it is soldered up. So let's see what else is inside here. You get official instructions, which is always very, very nice. It is always nice to be able to have something in front of you instead of having to go online to figure everything out. Uh, it gives you some information on soldering techniques and also installing a capacitor that I believe should be included with this kit. So let's see what else is in here. You get some zip ties. You also get a capacitor that gets soldered on and looks like some servo tape to tape your ESC down. So very nice of Tekin to include all of that stuff. I happen to be have included here the white and black Tekken stickers and I believe yellow and black. Forgive me if I'm missing that as green. I'm colorblind, so on and on. And then let's take a look at the ESC here. Uh, very, very small footprint, like I said. It is um, a little bit about the size of a quarter as far as if you throw it a quarter on top of there. That's the size of it. A little over a half inch thickness. Now the difference in weight between the RS and RS Pro is about 0.3 ounces. So 2.3 ounces for the RS Pro and 2 ounces for the RS. So all in all, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will be doing another follow-up video with my B44.2 so you guys can see this thing installed. That's it for now, guys. Over now.